Hi everyone, this is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope you're doing great and we're going to be talking about both of these systems and as you would have seen from the thumbnail and the title, there are some changes to talk about in this video. So there are some factors which will complicate the long-term track of the system and there is some big uncertainty as to what will happen down the road. So that one of those factors is its interaction with uh, 91L which has yet to become a tropical cyclone but is a very eventually expected to do so. So we're going to be talking about both of these. As usual, let's go on to the satellite imagery and there we can see them to the east of the Caribbean. And uh, we can see that there is hardly any organization here because Philippe is a shared cyclone and 91L is very disorganized as well. So uh, because of that, we're just seeing this huge mess out there to the east of the Caribbean with a couple of blobs. And so we're going to talk more about these in a moment, but let's drift to the Caribbean and see what's happening. So across the east, conditions have improved a lot since all that rain due to that upper level low earlier this week so there should be decreased rainfall activity across the lesser antilles uh through today but over in the west it's likely that there will be some rainfall so as we take a look at this map here this is the rainfall forecast from the euro and this is as we head through to early tomorrow morning so there we can definitely see some of those brighter colors oranges reds in the vicinity of florida going to central america parts of northern south america America, even some of those purples in Colombia signifying a lot of rainfall. So not a whole lot across the greater Antilles and not everywhere will be experiencing rainfall activity through today but some areas might experience some showers or even thunderstorms uh, as we head through to the rest of today especially in the afternoon hours but we can see that things remain on the dry side for the ABC Islands. Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire remains dry down there unfortunately. For the Guyanas there could be some uh, activity across Guyana but not seen where anything much is expected for French Guiana and Suriname. Now let's go ahead and move back to our systems. Here we have them on the satellite and uh, we can definitely see that as I said this just looks like a whole mess out there because of how close these systems are in proximity to each other. And of course the main focus of this video is Philippe but we also have to talk about 91L because it is the interaction with it uh, that is going to be helping to determine what happens next. So we'll look at what a couple of models have to show in a moment but this is the latest cone forecast from the national hurricane center a big change compared to last evening this was what was there last evening and now there is low confidence in that actually happening but here we see uh, a completely different track so the system is moving very slowly it is moving to the west northwest at five miles per hour it's barely moving out there and maximum sustained winds are estimated to be around 50 miles per hour so still a tropical storm and the mustard shade is indicating the extent of those tropical storm force winds and so the, take a look at the proximity from the caribbean compared to yesterday so here we're seeing this big change here because of that interaction with 91l so gfs is showing something rather interesting let's go ahead and take a look at what the model has to show so this is as we have through today going to friday there we have the system loitering out there there is a 91l and because of the interaction of the circulation of the systems that would result in philly making its way out to sea this is quite interesting here they're going to be dancing around with each other let's go on to the canadian model and canadian is still showing that a weakened system will approach the caribbean islands not moving in this time but just approaching the leeward islands and then making its way out still as something quite weak Let's go on to Euro. So Euro is also expecting that we're going to be seeing something very weak out there. So GFS is the only one being quite bullish about intensity of the system. But there we have the remnants loitering around the vicinity of the Lesser Antilles. And that could induce a lot of rainfall should there be a lot of activity, a lot of those showers and thunderstorms. So that would be the concern. Uh, so all that rainfall activity. And matter of fact, the National Hurricane Center still states that Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, and the Northern Leeward Islands should be keeping and wash uh, and there could be rainfall totals up to three inches this weekend heading through to Monday across the aforementioned areas so there is no guarantee just yet I will say that because as we're seeing there are a lot of changes with the system here it can really do anything at this point let's go on to the icon model finally and let's see what it has to show so there it is showing the system out there moving very slowly not strengthening much and approaching the islands lingering around as we head to Sunday going through Monday 
Monday and even into Tuesday before it eventually starts making its way out and intensifying at that point. So Icon is showing that this is going to be low turn around the Leeward Isles for a good day or so before eventually making its way out of the Caribbean. And as it relates to the model track guidance, take a look at this. These tracks are all over the place with these possible scenarios for Philippe. Now at first, uh, it was expected that Philippe would be following in the footsteps of previous cyclones and making its way out to sea, but then a westward trend slowly set into place. Why? Because the system has been battling all that wind shear and that is something that helps to prevent much intensification of it which is the reason we haven't seen a whole lot happen it's basically fighting for its life out there and it is a very lopsided storm as well and uh, a weakened system would generally trend more to the west also that high pressure system has been uh, reinforcing itself enough to the point where it would actually uh, steer philippe on that westward track so we're not talking about a strong tropical storm hurricane or major hurricane out there this is a weak storm and uh, also now with 91 l so it is still likely to become rena but now here it is creating these uh forecasting issues and the interaction that is happening between these systems is likely the fujiwara effect now what can happen with this is that these low pressure areas are so close in proximity and if we're talking about systems that have similar intensities, then what we will see happen is that they'll try to rotate around each other. But if there is a much stronger system, then that stronger one would be uh, would become dominant as we're going to be heading into the next couple of days. The strength and the intensity of both of these is going to be a big determinant in the potential track of Philippe. And so I'm here to keep you guys posted though on all that is happening and all that is expected. But uh, the official source, the National Hurricane Center, is stating that, hey, if you're in Puerto Rico, if you're in the U.S. or British Virgin Islands and the Northern Leeward Islands, you should continue to monitor the progress of the system. And uh, remember, guys, going back to the cone forecast here, even though we're seeing these latest complications, this is to track the center of the system. So even if it drifts close enough to the Caribbean and the center doesn't actually move over any island, then if it has a lot of activity in association with it, that can still result in some increased rainfall activity. And in some cases of a lot of heavy rainfall, that can trigger flooding. So that is still going to be a possibility. At least that is expected right now, because if there is that trend of the system staying well away from the Caribbean, loitering where it is and then shooting out to sea, then it will be likely that those impacts won't be uh, significant at all but we definitely have to continue to monitor the progress of the system that is why I'm here to keep you guys posted with these updates so of course stay tuned for my next updates coming this evening and that is pretty much what I wanted to share with you in this video and I hope you found it to be quite informative but if you have any questions please do leave them in the comments I'll try to respond to you once I get the chance to do so and as always remember to be weatherwise.